Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to the continuation of this video series which is how to 3D model Katra from the Netflix series Shira. In the last video tutorial we finished the head. In this video tutorial we are going to attach the arm to the torso and also finish her feet. If you are new to this channel, I post 3D tutorials on a weekly basis. Software includes Maya, ZBrush, and Substance Painter. So if that is your sort of thing, please consider subscribing. So bring out your creativity, open up your software, and let's get started on completing the body of Catra. Okay, so to attach an arm, we need is more geometry for the, so where it's gonna be connected. So what we can do is um, select some faces here, probably these guys here, and you can always look at the side view to see if that is the case, which it is. And I can click on this button here, which will give me circles, but I'm gonna grab a little bit more mesh and click on this, which will give me a nice big circle and kind of match it to the reference image. So I'm just gonna scale it and kind of match it like so. At this point, you might wanna rotate it slightly so you can get a little bit more of a shape, kind of like you can see in her body along here and her reference. And now we can extrude, control E. I'm gonna press W, I'm gonna kind of move it out. And then I'm going to, uh, let's see, grab the arm for a second, just kind of freeze the transformations. Just kind of move it out of the way so I can start shaping this a little bit more. So let me go ahead and grab some vertices here and shape the arm. And I'm going to kind of rotate it down. Extrude again. Oops, I guess maybe if I was in faces, that would make more sense. Uh, extrude again, Control E. And basically get it to fit something like that. All right, so now I have kind of like an arm. Not really. It's kind of like a nub at this point. But let's uh, let's go ahead and delete some faces. Let's delete these interfaces here. And let's bring back the arm. Okay, so they almost match, not exactly, but close. Uh, so I'm going to take this and just kind of Bring it down a little bit. Same thing with this as well. Let's just bring everything down a little bit. Or um, you can actually delete these faces, to be fair. We actually don't need them. So let's get rid of those. And you'll notice that the arm in here is actually intersecting, right? So let's make sure that we actually create a, like basically an armpit. So we wanna give ourselves a little bit of space. So I'm gonna nudge these so that it gives you a little bit of space. And we, we actually do have that crevice down there. Theoretically, they sh we should have the exact same number of vertices. So what I'm going to do is mesh combine, and then I'm going to go and grab my target weld and then start target welding. So click and drag from the bottom. Whoa, that's a lot of vertices. Let me deselect it. So once again, just click and drag to the vertice that it belongs to. So here, to this one, you might need to move the camera and kind of sneak yourself in here here to here if it lets me, here to here, great. Here to here, here to here, here to here. I might need to go inside the mesh. We'll gently go inside the mesh. All right, let's see if we can find the right spot here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, here we go. Here to here, I think, hopefully. I'll find out real soon. All right, let's see if I can go this way instead. Actually, why am I doing this? Why don't I just go to wireframe? Uh, there we go. Okay, you guys belong together. Pretty sure you guys belong together. This way to here, this way to here. And I believe I did it all. All right, let's find out. Let's go back to regular. So press the number six on your keyboard and let's press the number three. And now we have an arm attached to the body. Now there's still a little bit of edge flow we need to work on. Um, so I brought some new vertices. So let's make sure we shape it 
so the character fits a little bit better to the reference. But we also want to make sure that um, it doesn't look like she's got a little bit of space here. So uh, that's going to require a little bit of what's called edge flow, which means you want to flow the edges from one to the other. So we're just going to go in and add the edges. We're just going to change the, the way it's shaped so that it looks a little bit better and more organic. So again, we do have an armpit. We do want to go ahead and bring this down because we don't see the armpit usually. We just see the front of the torso-ish and the arms. So we're going to bring that in. I'm also going to bring it down like so. Same thing for the back. This part's actually a little bit flatter, so we want to make sure that we kind of capture that. And then the pieces to match. Right, so that looks a lot more realistic than what it was before. Still be pushed a little bit further. So let's go ahead and bring this down a little bit more. Might need to nudge some of these down as well. And this part's usually a little bit further back. So I'm going to push these back too. And there we go. So now her body is attached. Let's just confirm everything's good. Again, let's go to quad draw and just kind of relax some of this. It looks a little bit kind of pressed. So again, holding down shift, this will help average out everything. So number three, and we kind of have a body. Cool. And of course the feet. All right, let's move these. Well, we have the shape already. So I can do the same thing I did with the fingers which is basically extrude these and just kind of keep them separate. But don't forget to round them because they're looking a little cubic there. So let's make sure that they're rounded. And you can see that's already kind of breaking the mesh a little bit, but uh, let's see, this is the inside of her foot and that is her thumb. So that probably should be the biggest one. So I'm actually gonna scale this up. Let's grab this and rotate it slightly so that it's a little bit more forward and make sure it's on the ground. So if you want to give it a little bit more depth, you can, or more roundness, I would probably suggest you go ahead and extrude a little bit. So when you press the number three, you're going to get the toe. Okay, extrude, bring it out, click on this little button, make it smaller. Extrude again, control E, bring it out, round it out. So again, there's a little edge sticking out, so you might as well grab that edge and stick it out as well. I'm gonna scale this down, bring it down. Same story with this one, extrude. Make it circular. Scale it. Make sure it's on the ground. I didn't do that to the other one, which I'm gonna have to fix. I'm gonna flatten it out a little bit. Control E again, just a little bit, scale it again. And let's fix this one. Let me rotate it slightly. Bring it down across here. Edge. Press number three, see how it looks. Definitely need some love on the right side. Let's put this out. And since she's barefooted, she's gonna have a little bit of a raised um, arc, arch. It's really long. And I think my reference image is actually, I think I made my toes too big. So let me just bring this in. All right, let me finish this one before I lose track. Control E, bring it out, click on this little circle, rinse and repeat. I'm gonna flatten it out to make my life easier. Control E again, bring it out, scale. Might wanna push this down too. So let's grab all of it.
and then bring this up. Okay. Now, as you notice, I have four fingers. She's got five, <laughs> as you should. What I can do is extrude just a little bit and extrude this one also. Just gonna scale it a little bit. And then since I got this extra edges or extra geometry, make sure that you kind of push it back and make sure that it kind of fits a little bit better. Um, something like that. So now she's got her, oh, let's make sure that that actually fits better by grabbing some edges and making sure that her geometry matches. All right, she now has five toes. Let's fix the bottom of her foot. It's driving me crazy. Let's go to multi-cut. I'm just gonna go across, across here, across here. And I'm gonna grab this one and go all the way across here. And here, whoops. Here to, yeah, that's good. Okay, so hopefully now with the quad draw, it will act a little bit better. Thank you, much better. Okay, let's see what we got. We have a bit of a foot. Let's take a look at her reference. Her toes are definitely bigger. So let me just scale these up and kind of bring them up, kind of like what she has on her design. And this is definitely a little too low. So let's bring these back up according to the reference. And we can try following the reference as well, but we also know a little bit of an anatomy. So, you know, kind of have to keep that in mind. Um, let me push this thumb in a little bit more and maybe nudge, nudge this one in so it looks a little bit more rounded. I'm not convinced by my quad draw there, so let me just kind of nudge this back to, it would be nice if it actually referenced other parts of the foot, but it's a cartoon, so, you know, we just kind of go with what we know. Oh, what happened to this one? Ah, that's the nice thing about 3D. You can always fix it. Okay, cool. So what I did was delete the history, freeze the transformations, all that stuff. And you probably should do that for everything. So center the pivot, delete the history, freeze the transformations. And let's go ahead and save as. Um, cool. She's coming along. Let's finish her neck. Let's focus here. And I'm going to extrude, lift, move it up, maybe slightly rotate it. Might wanna take a look at it on this view as well, which maybe I'll nudge it a little bit to the left, extrude, lift. I'm actually thinking about just leaving her neck separated and her head in a, cause I'm gonna put in a separate shader. So I think I'm just gonna leave it as is. The neck is inside the skull. All right, cool. Next would be, um, let me isolate select. I'm gonna mirror it to the other side. So let's click on this guy right here. Double click. Uh, ignore the neck. And what I'm gonna do is press R and just crush it together like that. So it's a nice flat line. Make sure it's in the center. And then we are going to mirror it. So mesh, mirror. Now be careful, we don't wanna merge borders. So let's go ahead and bridge borders if you want to, or don't or don't, don't merge them. I personally don't like to merge them. So I would just leave it like that. Oh, okay, so it looks like it didn't merge. So over here to the right under, this is a poly mirror. So I said do not, that was my mistake. I should merge border vertices but I need to reduce my threshold. So let me change it to like 0.1 and now they should be connected. So that was a mistake. But the cool thing is you can, as long as you don't have any other history above it, you can still fix it. So again, we can press the number three and that looks a lot better, but I still want to fix that edge. So let's grab that edge, double click, deselect the things that you don't want. And let's push it in a little bit. 
that much. And actually the neck doesn't need to. Let's just get rid of that for now. Just push in it just a tiny bit. Cool. Okay. And we now have Katra's body. Let me bring the head. There we go. And now we have Katra's body. We have her head. And we need to keep going from there. Let's go ahead and label this. Let's, this is going to be my head. This is going to be the body geo. This is the eye, which I think I want to make it not transparent. There we go. Let me duplicate it. There you go. So that's not so creepy. So this is going to be her right eye. So I R, and this one's going to be her eye left. Okay. So we now have the basics. Again, don't forget to delete everything. And we now have her body, we have her head, and the next part is what makes her very special, which is her headgear, her ears, and her hair. So that's going to be next. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the process so far. It's, uh, it's definitely more challenging because she's a cartoon, but it's also fun to kind of see Katra come to life. In the next video tutorial, we are going to move on to the accessories. We have the head, we have the body. Now it's time to make this character look more like Katra. If you learned a thing or two, please like and subscribe. That is your message to me, letting me know that you like these type of videos and that you want to see more. Please share my videos with any artists out there that might want to model a 3D character fairly quickly. So that would be amazing if you would also share my videos. When you get a chance, please take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. There you can find free 3D models, free ebooks, and so much more. And also take a look at my e-courses. There I have deep dive tutorials on how to use Maya, including modeling, UV mapping, texturing, and more. So please take a look. And if you would like to support me further, please consider purchasing an e-course. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Next, we are going to move on into making the headband and the cute little cat ears that make Catra Catra. Keep creating and I'll see you in the next one.